Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Sims 4 keeps crashing and freezing. Let's begin. Now, if this is your first time playing Sims 4 and you click on the play for free option, basically these are the platforms that you can download the game for Mac, PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, Epic Games, and EA app for Windows. Say for example, I click on this option. And then you went to the EA app for Windows right here. And then you click on the get, add to cart, and play for it. But the problem is you suddenly encounter this error. Like problem report for the Sims 4. Quit unexpectedly and click reopen to open the application again. Now this is very frustrating, right? But don't worry because there are several troubleshooting steps you can try to resolve this issue. Okay? So number one is... Now, the first thing you need to do, if you are using the EA app for window, go to the left side panel of your dashboard, the hamburger menu. Click on it and click on help. And after that, click on the... And click on the app recovery. Okay? And as you can see, all you have to do is click on cache because what will happen is they will try to restart and run the app recovery and... As you can see, if you read the information, if you have the origin downloaded on your computer, app recovery will verify your games the next time you open the app. And during verification, installed games will be unavailable on origin. And after doing so, all I have to do is on clear the click on the clear cache. Okay, so click on clear cache. And then another quick way to do it is go again to the EA app. Now, go to the hamburger menu again and click on help and try to restart the app once again. Now, it'll take like a few minutes to recover and if that happens, uh, check if that works for you now. Now, the next step is make sure that you adjust in-game settings and lower the graphic settings within the game. Because as we all know, high graphic settings can train your system and lead to crashes, especially on older or less powerful computers. Make sure that your computer meets the minimum system requirements for The Sims 4. If your system is underpowered, obviously it may struggle to run the game smoothly. Also, you might want to go to their GPU drivers. Make sure that you install the latest and up-to-date drivers. Just check for the check for updates. And if you have already uh, pending available ready drivers, just click on download and try to restart if see that it works for you now. Okay. Now the next step is now always make sure that your computer is not overheating during gameplay. You need to use software tools to monitor your CPU and GPU temperatures because as we all know, overheating can cause performance issues and crashes. Now this is one of the best free tool for you to check of your computer's temperature. It's called Open Hardware Monitor. And all I have to do is download open hardware monitor on your computer. Alright? Now the next step is... Now, you might want to delete the cache for your uh, games. Because clearing out the game cache files can sometimes become corrupted and lead to crashes. Mm -hmm. To do this, I suggest you go and press Windows button plus R on your computer. So that it will pop up in the run option. And type in the percentage local app data. And once you do that, just click on OK. And hit enter and once you got a hold of the sims folder try to right click and repair the game files all right there's going to be an option that says repair game on the library and follow the prompts to repair any corrupted game files now if you tried all these steps and the sims 4 still keeps crashing or freezing consider reaching out to the ea support for further assistance and again provide them with details about your system specifications the nature of the crashes and any trouble shooting steps you have already taken and i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one